hi guys welcome back in this video i'll be taking you through venn diagram venn diagram is one of the application of sets in fact it is used to solve a, a word problem so when you have a word problem involving two sets then you can actually apply what we know as a, a venn diagram this Venn diagram was named after Professor Joseph Venn. Joseph Venn is an English mathematician, and uh, this Venn diagram was used to solve a mathematical problem involving two sets in the early 19th century. So, in essence, a set can be represented by showing its element within a boundary, so or a region, usually a ring. So or you can say a circle. So for example, now you know I told you in the introductory part of, I mean uh, this topic, I said one of the way you can one of the ways you can represent set is using the Venn diagram. Why, uh, I mean set. Is represented by a circle and the universe set by a rectangle. You understand now? So, in essence, when I have something of this nature, one, two, three, then what I'm trying to say, and it is a set A. What I'm trying to say in essence is that this is a set A, so which has one, two, three as its element. So which has one, two, three as its element. If that is clear, let's say I now have two sets. Let's say I have two sets. Recall, if you have two sets, then we must have our, I mean, a universe set as well. Maybe we have this universe set, and like I've said, so if this is the region, if this is the region, and uh, the first circle here, recall I said a set is represented by what? By a circle, by a boundary within a circle. So if this is a set A and this is a set B, you understand now? So you can see that we have many regions here. In fact, this is a region, this is a region, this is a region, this is another region. You understand now? So let's say I now put A, B, C, D here. You understand now? So then you now want to find your A, your set A. So your set A is what? Is all this region, this region like this, all this region like this? You understand now? So it is your set A. It means the element of this set A will be nothing but what? A, B. You understand that? So that is all the what? All the region covering A. So you know, like, like, I'm, like I drew here the other time, so this is A. I hope you understand. Likewise, your B on the other hand will be what? This is your B, set B. Please be careful, so this is B. So everything that is what? That is covering, I mean, a, any in element inside this region like this, it is known as what? They are the element of set B. So it means my set B is having how many elements? That's two elements, then your B will also be what? B. C. You understand now? So, when you now have, we can still have A only. When we say A only, what does A only mean? That is, elements in A alone that are not in B. You understand now? So, elements in A alone that are not in B, you know, we can describe it as A difference B. Like I've said the other time, you know, when you have A difference B, when you have A difference B, we have A, B, so then your B is what? B, C. When you say A different B, that is elements that belongs to A alone, that are not in what? That are not in B. You know, A minus B is what? Is A, which is A only. We can call it A only. So A only is just here. That is the element inside the region alone. So that will give me A. So based on that, if you apply the same thing, it means my B only will also be what? Eh? Element in B alone. That is B alone. So that is what? That is C. 
So then we can have our A intersection B. Don't forget A intersection B is with enemy common to, I mean, uh, A and B. You can see if I draw this, you know this is a set A, this is a set A. Check it very well. If I see draw set B, what is common to both of them? You can see that when I draw A like this, I have A, B. When I still draw my B, yeah, I have B, C. What is common? You can see B is common to both. So it means this region is denoted by what? Right? The intersection of the two sets. In essence, it means the intersection would be what? Would be B. The intersection would be B. So all this region like this. Sorry, let me just use something to highlight it. So all this region like this. So this region, this one, this one, this one. Add what? Eh? A union B. A union B. That is element in A. A union B will now be what? A, B, C. Element in A. Or B or H. Or both. Or B or both. You understand now? So that is that. And likewise, your A union B complement. That is element not in what? So element not in... A union B, so that are in the universe. The record is your universe set, which is D. You can see it stand out. So that's D. You understand as well. If that is clear, that we use an example so that you can get it clearly. Let me use an example. Let's say we went to a ceremony and two fools are served. So and two fools are served. Let's say this is the universe uh, that is the fools that were served in the ceremony. Understand? So let's say they serve Amala. Amala. Let's represent. And we have Fufu. So let's say I have three, four, five, six here. Yeah. You understand now? So before you forget, you know. If I ask you now, based on the explanation I gave, how many people eat amala? A number of A means what? Number of amala. And don't forget what I said the other time, that is when you have number of, of amala, that is this region, or this region of amala. So that will be the number of amala. So, and that's going to give you what? Three plus four. Oh, three plus four, which is seven. So, but Amala only, you understand that you can say number of A, I mean, uh, A prime. So, you can say Amala only. So, A prime, so that is going to give me what? Hmm? So, eh, that is going to give you, you can just say A prime intersection B. So, A prime intersection B. Or you can just say A intersection B complement. So, or you can just write simply put A prime. So, uh, just say N only. A only. That's going to give me what? The one that stand out here, which is three. The one that stand out here, which is three. So, that's A only. And if you want to write A only, like I've said, that's what? A number of N intersection B complement. So, that means A only. So that means what? A only. So that is, it doesn't have what? It doesn't have B. So that's going to give you three. Okay, now, what's the number of B? Remember, B is different from B only. Let me explain why it is different. You know, suppose now that uh, in that ceremony, at the end of the day, they now want to say, okay, how many people, maybe myself and you, we went to a ceremony and you had Amala only. You had Amala only. But myself, you know, I like food very, very much. You know, I like food. You understand now? Maybe I had Amala and Fufu together. You know, if they call, how many people ate Amala only? You know, you are the one to stand up. I'm not going to stand up because I had Amala and what? And Fufu. Oh. But when they say, how many people had Amala without putting only, without specifying it, you know, both of us are going to stand 
up. So that's why Amala, without putting only contains, I mean, this region, that's why it's contained three and four. But when they say Amala only, it means it is only you. So likewise, when they say number of fufu, you know, if they say, okay, maybe you also ate fufu only, but I ate Amala and fufu. You know, if they say now, how many people ate fufu only? You know, you are going to be the one to stand up, which is here. You understand now. But when I say number of fufu, you know, myself who ate the two foods is going to stand up to. That's why it is covering this region. You understand now? So it means number of B or number of fufu. So number of fufu, let's say F, is going to be 4 plus 5, which is equal to 9. Okay, now what is now fufu only? Number of fufu only, to write number of fufu only, that's going to be what? Number of F intersection A complement. That is, I only add fufu, but Amala is not there. Like I've explained, that's going to give me 5. You understand now? A number of what? Fufu union A complement. That is, those who did not eat either of the food. So, which is here, 6. So, if that is clear, let me give you an example to pack it up. It is not difficult, honestly. Just listing and listing very good. Let's say, for example, example, let me just copy the question here so that we don't waste our time. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't worry. I will just copy it here. Aha. Uh -huh. bien. So the question says that in a class of 30 students, if I were you, don't draw any diagram, just read the question and interpret it. In a class of 30 students, you know that is representing your what? Your universal set. That is representing your universal set solution. That is, your universal set is 30 because that is the total number of elements under consideration. F like football. In some questions, they may rep they may give you what you should use to represent your set, but if they don't give you, you can use the first letter here. So ideally, we use the first letter. You can say let the number of students, or let me to not to waste our time. Let F represent football, and let what let T represent. Tennis. Uh -huh. So, then they say 25 like football, not football only. That is 25 like football. You understand now? So, that this number of football is equal to 25. You write it down. You, you must write the information first before you solve the question. And 15 like tennis. That is number of T is equal to what? 15. I hope you understand now. Then every people like at least one of these spots. Don't be confused with this. What this is telling you is that you don't need to stress yourself. Of all the 30 students, we don't have one of the students. We don't have at least one student who did not participate. That is, all of them participated. You understand that? Then we are asked to find how many students like both. That is N of F intersection. If I were you, I will not leave the question. Then you not draw your Venn diagram. Since you have two sets, it means you are going to have how many Venn diagram? Two of them. You have something of this nature. Something of this nature. You understand now? Then you don't forget your universe sets. We were given. That will be the rectangle. You understand now? And no, now you have two sets. The first set is F. The second set is T. And you have your cardinality to be what? Uh, your universal set to be 30. Then you now... Oh, sorry. I think I made a mistake. <laughs> yeah. This F. This is T. Don't mind this guy, please. Yeah. So you now go back to your question. You know your universal set is 30, right? Then N of F. That is, N of F is what? Don't forget, like the example I told you, number of F is 25. If they say, if they don't put only, if they don't put it here, 
this region we are pointing to is representing F only. But if they don't put only, just put it outside. It means all this region. Let me just and uh, highlight it. It means all this region is what is 25. But if they say only, then you don't need to stretch yourself. Just put it direct, place it directly here. You understand now? Likewise, T only. Am I going to put it here? No, because it is not only. But if it is only, you are going to put it here. But since it's not only, you are going to put it outside here. Then the question asks us to find the intersection. You know, the intersection between two of them is this. You put F. You understand now? So you put X. Even if they don't give you, you have to you have to represent the cardinality first so that you don't make mistake. You understand now? So to continue now, you now ask yourself, you know, if I draw this region again, my friend, F, how many regions constitute this F? If you count it very well, you will see there are two. This region as well as this. You understand now? So two of us went to a ceremony and we were given 25 ramp of Amala. You understand now? And somebody has taken S. How many will the other guy take? That's 25 minus S. Then you now put 25 minus S here. Likewise, if you check there, these two regions constitute 15. Both of them are to share 15. And somebody has taken X. The other guy is going to take what? 15 minus S. I hope you understand now. So then immediately you fill out the region. Then you can now start working. You know now, all what you have inside here must be equal to the cardinality, uh, must be equal to the universal. Then you can just say 25 minus x plus x plus 15 minus x equal to 30. That will help us to find the value of x. You can see that this guy cancelled this. You understand now? So then you can say 25 plus 15, that's 40 minus x equal to 30. x is equal to what? 40 minus 30, which is equal to 10. It means your A is equal to 10. If I were you, I can draw the diagram again. And if you don't want to stress yourself, you may not bother to draw it. You know, you have your two sets like this. You understand? Let me draw it again. I think it is very small. You have your two sets like this. And you have your what? You have your universe set to be what? To be 30. So now, if you don't forget, you have F, you have T here, and your F is 25, right? So your T is 15. And you have your S here, which is 10 here. I'm just substituting it back. And this is 25 minus S, this is 15. This is 15 minus X, that's going to be 5. You will see that when you had all these regions together, when you had it 15 plus 10, you are going to see you are going to get 25. 10 plus 5 is going to give you 15. That's how you are going to know whether you get it or not. It means what we asked to find how many students like both spots. How many students like both spots? Then, therefore, 10 students like both spots. You can see it is not difficult at all. Okay, now, if that is clear, let me give you another example because I want you to understand it very well. The second example, just look up. It is not difficult. Okay. The second example. Okay. 30 puppies. Maybe I should board it so that you get it clearly. Yeah. So the question says, 30 puppies asked, man, 30 puppies were asked what colors of shirt they like to wear. You understand now? So they were asked what color of shirt they like to wear. 20 say blue. You know now they've even represented it with us, for us. So it means you don't need to say let be represent something again. 20 say blue. That is N of 20. N of B is equal to 20. Don't draw further. First of all, write out your data before drawing the Venn diagram. And 15 say pink. That is N of P is equal to 15. And 5 do not like either of this color. 
So that is when you find the union of B and P complement, since neither this means that this five does not like what blue and or, or what or pink. You understand now? It doesn't like any of the two colors. So then showing this information of Venn diagram, don't go to the question yet. What you are going to do after that is what? Is to find is to draw your Venn diagram. Okay, draw your Venn diagram so that you put out the information. I have something of this nature. So, oh, sorry, that is strange. Let me draw it again. Let me just draw it again. You know, we have two sets, right? Oh, so we have two sets. So don't forget your universe sets. I don't think we were given. So then you can put the first one here, blue. Then you can have pink here. You understand now. You can put it up, but I don't want it to interfere with this. That's why I put it there. Or maybe I should just clean it. <laughs> and write my universal set here properly. Okay? So I have my P here. And I have my universe set here. So N of B is 20. I told you if they don't say B only, don't put it here. And that's why that's most of the uh, majorities of the spell make this mistake. Once they say, okay, now B, they put it here. No. So B is equal to 20 here. But if they say only, you put it in this region. Like I've used the example, we went to a ceremony and we were given 20 rams of Amala. Or even if they don't give us 20 rams of Amala. So we went to a ceremony, I had Amala and rice. You eat what? You had Amala only. You know, if they call number of Amala only, you are going to be the one to stand up. But number of Amala, it will contain myself, who had the two foods, and you had the only food. I hope you understand now. So, likewise, B is equal to 15. You put it here. We don't, do we have any information concerning the intersection of the two? Who had the two food? We don't have. We just put X here. Then this one, oh, sorry, this will be union, not intersection, union. So then that is neither of them eat the two, uh, uh, like the two colors. It means you are going to place it outside of the two regions. Don't put it outside of the two regions since they don't like it. Okay, now with the example I use, so Two of us went to a ceremony now and we were given 20 ramps of Amala. Somebody has taken S ramp of Amala. You know, two region constitutes this. And we are saying what we uh, what we were supposed to know here is that at the end of the day, these two region must sum up to 20. So somebody has taken S, it means this region will be 20 minus X. Two region also sum up here. Somebody has taken S, it means this region is going to also be what? 5 minus X. So I hope you understand now. So that's that. Then you can now proceed. Don't forget all what you have in this region. All what you have in this region, when you sum it together, it's going to give you your what? It's going to give you your eh? uh, uh, it's going to give you your universe set. But let us now go to the question. What does the question say? When you show this information on Venn diagram, which we've done, ends. Find the number of poopies who like to wear number one, both sets. So the number of poopies who like to wear both sets. Yeah, that's not difficult. So do you have any idea on how, on how you can do that? So, and don't forget, uh, we were given our universe sets. I'm sorry, I couldn't write it. You are giving your universe set. You know, that is the way I ask that that's the universe set. So that is your universe set is 30. Universe set says 30. It means when you have everything in this region together, you are going to get 30. That's what it implies. Since universe set is the total number of elements under consideration. That's going to give you 20 minus x plus x plus 15 minus x plus 5. Don't consider this one. 
some students make the mistake. You don't need to stress yourself. Then it's about to thirty. You understand now? So that we enable us find the value of as you see that this guy cancelled this. So twenty plus fifteen that's thirty five plus five that's forty minus s is equal to thirty. So then you have that your s is equal to forty minus thirty, which is equal to ten. So forty minus thirty, which is equal to ten. If you like, you can draw the diagram again so that it makes sense. You have something of this nature, something of this nature. You have your s now to be ten. So 20 minus 10, that is also 10. 50 minus 10, that is 5. So that's how I used to do. So because it will enable me to, let me simplify it properly, and your university is 30. So you have your 5 here. So you have your 5 here. Then you can just go to the next question. What will now be the next question? Both sets, which we found. So it means your both set is what? Number of blue intersection pink, that's going to give me 10, you know, this region. You understand now. And the last question is what? Eh? The number, only one of the sets, only one of the sets. So only one of the sets will now be what? You can see only one of the sets will be only blue and only pink. That is number of blue intersection B, P complement plus Number of blue complement integration B. You see, blue complement, blue only. You know, this is blue only. You know, I told you. And this is also pink only. That's what you are going to add together. And that's going to give me what? 10 eh, plus what? Plus 5. That's going to give us 15. And that's going to give us 15. You can see it is not difficult. And that's how you are going to do that. Let me give you another example to back it up because I want you to understand. Another example. Example. Example three. Let me just put it here. Okay. So the third example says, during one year in the school, five over eight of the student had misses. You know, they didn't represent it for us. You can say let M represent misuse. And the second set, I think it is chicken pos. Let C represent chicken pos. Okay, now you now go back to the question. During one year in the school, five over eight of the student had misuse. That is N of M is five over eight. One over two had chicken pos. N of C is what? 1 over 2, and 1 over 8 add neither. That is number of M union C complement. That is neither. That is 1 over 8. So, so what fraction of the school add both missiles and chicken pots? Although this is a fraction we didn't give, we were not given the universe set, but we should, we're supposed to know it. Number of the universe set is the number of, total number of elements under consideration. And since we are dealing with, with fraction, and fraction is what? Part of a whole. The whole is one. It means my universe is going to be one. I hope you understand now. So if you now draw your diagram, you have two sets. Misus, chicken paws, and you have your what? You have your universe set here. If you put it here, don't forget your universe set is going to give me one, Abby. So then you have your M here, you have your C. Then you can just put it. Your M is 5 over 8. Am I going to put it here? No, because this is representing M only. Don't put it here. You have to put it outside. But if they say only, you are going to put it here. Then C only, that's going to give me 1 over 2. So, and the complement of the union of the two sets, neither, is it will be out here. We are not giving the two, but we have to put it here. We represent it with 8. I hope you understand now. So, but before you solve the question, you have to fill in the region. How do I get it with the explanation I made? This is going to be 5 over 8 minus S. Two of us went to a ceremony and were given 5 over 8 ramp of Amana. Somebody has taken it. You know, to know the other share, you just subtract S from the total number of Amana you were given. So, likewise, this is going to be half minus X. You understand now? So, since we want to know the value of X, 
So it means you can say 5 over 8. You know, if I add all these regions together, I'm going to have 1, right? Which is my universe. And you're going to have 5 minus 8. 5 over 8 minus x. Plus x. Plus half minus x plus 1 over 8 is equal to 1. This guy cancel this guy. If you collect the like time, then I'm going to have 5 over 8 plus half plus 1 over 8 minus x is equal to 1. You understand now? So, 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 you can even cross multiply. So, this is 8. Or if you don't want to stress ourselves, if you don't want to find the SEM, just multiply through by 8. If you multiply through by 8, this is going to give me 5. So, this is going to give me 4 because 2 we cancel it, right? This is going to give me 1 minus 8 is equal to 8, right? So, then if you collect the light time, bring this guy here and bring this one outside. That's going to give me 5 plus 4 plus 1. So, minus 8 is equal to 8x. I hope you understand now. So, 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 1. That's 10. 10 minus 8, that is 2, is equal to 8x. Then your s will now be what? 2 over 8, which is 1 over 4. And I think we were asked to find both. So, we we'll add both, which is x. It means 1 over 4. Add, add both diseases. So one over four at both diseases. You can see it is very simple. And I hope you understand how you can solve any problem involving two sets now using your Venn diagram. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with, with your colleagues so that they, they benefit too. So I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.